Wilson. Artist Illustrator, thanks for tuning in. Uh, this is my last Inktober video. It is now January. I do realize the irony in that. Um, it took a little while for me to finish this, but I did, so kudos to me. Um, I hope you enjoy it. You know, doing this, or revisiting this, it's been a few months now, it's January, and I haven't had time to uh, do the video, finish this video series with all the holiday preparations and uh, a new commission that I've been working on. But now that I'm revisiting uh, this Inktober series, the last video, I probably would have done it earlier. I would have finished it beforehand if I realized I only had one more video to do. But uh, I think in my mind I thought I had two more to do, two or three, and I kind of uh, just got bogged down and didn't really have any motivation to finish it. Um, I didn't want to have to do two more videos. I didn't realize it was just one. I guess it's just one of those things. It's hard to motivate yourself sometimes, but um, just five. I probably could have spared an hour to finish this uh, earlier. Um, but anyways, I, uh, revisiting it, I, I now realize, you know, a couple of things. You might have just heard my, oh my Jolene, my cat is meowing in the background. You may be hearing that. You may be not. Um, I apologize. You know, one question I ask myself is, why did I do Inktober? You know, has it helped me since since doing it? And, you know, it's helped me to a point, but not that not really. I mean, it has helped me to realize I could finish, you know, some sort of project like that. You know, anytime you finish something, anytime I finish something, it's it's always a motivator to, to start on to something else. If I don't finish something, then it's a demotivator and I don't want to start anything else. Uh, so it definitely helped me then. Did it help my inking skills? Yeah, it helped that. Um, drawing? It certainly helped that. But I guess the problem is I haven't kept drawing. I mean, I'm always doing something art-related every day. Um, but it's not always... I don't know, it's not always drawing. I mean, I'm painting and or working on my website or making a video or whatever. Um, but I still don't, I need to draw. Drawing is just a fundamental, fundamental practice, fundamental thing that, you know, I really need to, to do every day. Um, I got a Christmas present, one of these books, uh, I don't know, 599 things to draw. So I may start using that just as an easy um, motivator to draw something small and quick every day, uh, regardless of any other projects that I have going on. I still think that sketching, some sort of sketching, is, is really a, a vital thing for me to do. So I, I really have to um, have some sort of some sort of uh, motivation or some sort of practice. I think is the way to put it to uh, draw every day. So. That's what I'm hoping to get from Inktober is to continue that practice, you know, spending a half hour of just drawing every day. Um, it's not the easiest thing when you have 
you know, a day job and other commitments, family and life and whatnot. So, anyways, that's what I'm thinking of. Uh, that's what I hope to, to get from, from Inktober. Um, looking back at this, it's pretty nice to see um, the little story I created. Now we're on day 29. Um, a new hero emerges. It kind of makes me interested in continuing the story. Um, you can see I did, uh, you know, I had, had my little maquette there. I made a little clay sculpture and a little clay sculpture of the main character and it just helped to be able to draw everything in 2D. Um, looking at it in 3D and getting it from the right perspective, the right angle, uh, really helps out. So um, you could see that. That's what I did. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where I would go with this. I mean, I kind of leave this as a cliffhanger. The the story ends as a cliffhanger, and it's, you know, I don't know if it's cliched or not, but it's just kind of what came to mind is is having, having uh, this, uh, the ending where there's, you know, maybe a, a possible baby or, or there's another character introduced. So it kind of leaves it open to, to, to carry on in a, in a different, you know, a different chapter, I guess. I did do some, like, do some more uh, character sketches of this alien creature. I didn't do a whole lot, though. I think it's something I need to re... I'll, I'll, I'll probably revisit and um, maybe get get something a little bit, I don't know, more, uh, well, I just, just get something that I can easily draw over and over again and just really nail down the specifics of the character's anatomy and can it do this, can it do, not do this. Um, I think I started out thinking that this kind of skeletal robot, skeletal, uh, say, astronaut suit that it wears kind of helps helps it to stay upright. Otherwise, it would just kind of slink to the ground because it doesn't have any bone structure. But, you know, half partway through, through it, I just started kind of ignoring that fact, I think, and making it a lot more, I don't know, curvy is not the word, but, you know, a lot more like, I don't know, octopus or some sort of, you know, creature like that. It's tentacle-like arms that kind of just do whatever they want. And that kind of goes against the skeletal nature of the astronaut suit so I'd like to lock that down a little bit more figure that out and maybe actually stick to it next time I revisit this uh, story and I think so that's one thing I probably would like to maybe maybe revisit this the other creature I didn't even think of but that would be fun to continue drawing as the the worm-like creature, that's definitely something, you know, that could have a little bit more, maybe there's some sort of background story, you know, about it that I have not figured out yet. You know, why is it living on this planet? How did it get here? Did it start out on this planet or did it come from another planet? Um... Why is this worm creature so large compared to 
Uh, my little alien creatures. Is it? Is there less gravity on this planet, and that's why it's able to get so large? Is there more things for it to eat? Um, you know, maybe that's why this creature is on the the alien creature is on this hoverboard, and it's kind of this hoverboard that actually sticks into the ground. Maybe that's why it's on the you know, it's sticking into the ground to keep it from flying up due to the lack of gravity on this planet. Um, I don't know. It's just something I'll have to revisit. You can see here this last one. This is where I, I, I ended up creating this vital cell organ rehab tank. I don't know. I just like the B court. I like the way that sounded, and I just kind of made things that worked with it. Um, it doesn't necessarily make too much sense, but... Um, you know, it's a little cliffhanger. There's a little, there's a baby. There's a smaller one there, and, and we really don't know if the other alien creature survived or not. We don't know what's going on. So, stay posted. Hopefully, I'll revisit this uh, sometime in the next year. Um, maybe I'll narrow down the characters and everything in time for next next year's Inktober. Okay? Alright, take care. Don't forget to subscribe if you like it, like the video or dislike it if you didn't, and if you have any comments, you know, or any your ideas on the uh, character design and story or what you were thinking of it, uh, let me know in the comments.